in this tutorial is about spy bot virtual destroy. It's the best spyware and adware program that I found and it is also free. First I'm going to show you how to download it. As you see I already have it downloaded here. Let's go to my browser, which hopefully you're using Firefox. Bye bye. And we're going to click the first one, SpyBot SDB. And just choose your language. And right up here is SpyBot. Mirror download. You want to pick the first one here. And then go up here to download now. Save the file. And again, you can see this is a very light program. Double click on it, run it, accept the agreement, and it shows you where the files are going to be saved to, where they're going to be installed. And again, you want to check all these. Make sure you're not downloading any kind of um, any kind of toolbars or any other kind of add-ons. And I don't believe this one has it. So I've already. I have already uh, downloaded this, so I'm just going to cancel out of it, close out of everything. Now there's two different ways you're going to have to open this one up. The first time you open it, <clears throat> you just want to left click on it. Okay, on this one here, you just want to go to check for problems and let it run. This one takes a few minutes, but once, as this one runs, if it finds any problems, they're going to come up here. Uh, you're also going to have a tip of the day the first time you ran this. I just closed mine out so I can see this screen here. Uh, in this screen, again, is, this is where it's going to show you any problems that you have. And the thing with this program is that as soon as it shows you the problem, it fixes the problem. There are no additional uh, additional steps to take. Once it's showed, it's fixed. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this scan because it takes a while for it to run and I know I don't have any issues because again I run this every day. Now this is the important part here. You want to go to the immunize screen and when you run this for the first time you're going to see how many other files that you have. They will all be unprotected. And 
you have none that are perfect. So what you want to do is you want to close out of this and you want to right click on the shortcut there and you want to run this as an administrator. If you don't run it as administrator, it will not be able to immunize all the files. And you click on immunize. And then up here, just immunize it. And it, it'll take a few minutes. Um, but what this does is it immunizes, it actually seeps itself into all your registry items and helps protect them. If anything tries to get in there and adjust anything, you're going to get a, a uh, pop-up that's going to ask you if you want to allow that program to proceed or not. And I kind of go by the general rule of thumb that if, I, if I'm loading up a file or I am putting in a program, I always allow it. But if I open an email or uh, I open a, a, any program not to install and it asks me to, if I want to allow it, I generally do not allow it. I'll go back and rescan that email or rescan that program uh, with my AVG before I open it or, you know, before I do that again and make sure that there's no issues in it. And then on the second pass, then I'll allow it. Um, <clears throat> There's also a lot of settings on here that are, uh, you can actually get in and change a lot of settings, but you don't want to do this unless you are advanced and you know what you're doing. Um, right out of the box, this thing is an amazing program. You should not have to change it in day. So you should leave it in the default mode and run it that way. It's a great program. Again, if you enjoy the file, the program and you are able to, please down uh, donate. We like to keep these programs going and we like to uh, these free programs I, I think it's just an amazing thing that you can actually download these free programs and they do a better job than a lot of the programs that you pay for. Um, and, you know, they have researchers and programmers and stuff that go through and, and make these programs available to us. So, if you, if you can donate, that's great. If you can't, then go to their site and click on their advertisements and look at what, what some of their advertisers have to offer as well whether you buy or you don't buy, um, it's good to shop around and see what you know what they're offering. And that's another way of generating re revenue for these free programs. That's it for this tutorial. And I want to thank you for listening. And I'll see you on the next one.